Hello everybody and welcome to this how-to video. I'm Drew with the PTC Education Team and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom drawing template inside of Onshape. By creating a custom drawing template, you can save time by ensuring that your preferred settings and tolerances are always present when you start up a new drawing. You can also add images to brand the drawing template. This can be great for schools that want to have their school logo appear on all their drawings, or for a robotics team looking to make sure their drawings are easily identifiable. Let's hop in and see the process. First things first, we need to create a new document in Onshape. I'll create one here, and then I'm going to title it Drawing Template Example, and then I'll click OK. With our new document created, I'm going to go to the Insert New Element, and I'm going to create a drawing. This will open up the Template Selection dialog box. Now from here, I want to make sure that I'm inside of Onshape's default templates, because this is what I'm going to use to create my own. Now, of course, if none of these work for you, you can click on the custom template option and set all of your own settings. But for today, I am going to be working from the ANSI A inch Onshape drawing template. I'll click OK, and that's going to create our drawing. Once this loads up, I can close out of these dialog boxes because we don't need them for today. And then we're going to get into actually customizing the template. Adding a logo or image to a drawing template is really easy and can help bring your drawing to a professional level with custom branding. To add our logo, we're going to start by selecting the Insert Image button up here in the top toolbar. At the bottom of this dialog box is an import option. So since we don't have a picture yet, I'm going to import one. From here, I'm going to choose my School of Rock logo and I'll open that up. It's going to import into Onshape and then it's going to show up as an option here. I will click on it. And then I'm going to be able to click to set the vertices. I'm going to start with the top left and drag down to the bottom right. Now, of course, I need to position it, which I actually did a pretty good job of getting that centered. Uh, right there is good enough. Once that's done, we need to right click on the picture and we're going to select move to. And then we're going to choose title block. This will ensure that you can change the orientation of the page and the size of the page, whether you want an A, B, portrait, landscape, and the picture will stay inside of this title block. In your custom drawing template, you can define what text boxes you would like to autofill with part properties when you place a part onto the page. Start by double clicking on any of these text boxes to edit them. I'll start with this top one, and then we're going to delete out the existing autofill. There are two types of properties that you can autofill a text box with. You can use properties from the drawing tab itself, which are controlled by right clicking on the drawing tab and then going to properties. As you can see right here, but none of them are filled in yet. You can also use properties from the part or assembly that is placed into the drawing by clicking on the Insert Sheet Reference Property button, which is right here. I'm going to change this top text box to use the name of the sheet reference part. So I'll click Name, and you can see it's going to autofill and say Sheet Reference Name. Click Green Checks. I'm happy with that. Once you're done adjusting the various text boxes, you can also go over and double click over here to change you know, your tolerances and make sure those are to your liking or the surface finish if you so choose. So now we've created a really nice custom title block for our drawing template. However, this title block won't appear on subsequent pages yet as they're set to use a different template. Let's see what the second page template looks like. I'm gonna add a new sheet by clicking on the sheet button and then insert new sheet. And we're gonna see that the second page contains significantly less information and does not have our custom title block. This is fine for some use cases, but because a single drawing tab can have drawings for multiple related parts or assemblies, I personally prefer for each page to have the full title block that we just created. To ensure this happens, I'm going to start by deleting this second page, and then I'm going to duplicate the first one. When we go to export this drawing file as a template file, whatever drawing is on the second page will be the template for the second page and onwards. Now, each page will have the full title block, regardless of how many pages end up in this drawing tab. With all of the relevant sheets customized to our liking, it's time to export this drawing as a template in a new tab in this document. To do this, I'm going to start by right-clicking on the Drawing 1 tab, then I'm going to click Export. I'm going to change the file name to be Demo Template, and then I'm going to change the format to DWT, which is the file format for drawing templates. These other options are all good, but I do need to change the options down here to be store file in a new tab, because I don't need to download it and re-upload it. It can just go right into a new tab. Once that's done, I'm going to click Export. As we'll see now it's being prepared for export, and we're going to get some notifications. And then once it's done, we're going to see this new tab pop up down here. So we have the demo template.dwt as a tab in this object document. Now, if I go over here and create a new drawing, when I go to the created by me, 
We'll now see that as a drawing template option. So let's open it up and see if it worked. It's loading up. And once it does, we will see that our school of rock is there. And I'm sure that our custom text box is working right there. So perfect. Our new drawing template is ready for us to use. It's also important to note that while I didn't create this as an A-sized template, like I said earlier, because we moved things into the title block and modified existing things, if I do go and change the size of this sheet, everything will still stay in the correct orientation. If you want other users in your team or organization to use this template you've just created, you can do that by sharing this document with them. I'll go up to the top toolbar and click on the big blue share button. You can share this document with other users by typing in their emails and then giving them can view and link document permissions as these are the only permissions they'll need to properly use the drawing template. Now, if you're in an education enterprise, you can go to the Teams option here and select the All Company Users team that will pop up here. Once again, you can just give can view and link document permissions, and then everybody in the enterprise will be able to use your drawing template. Now, if a user has been shared into this drawing template, when they go and they create a drawing, they'll be able to find the template under the Shared With Me option right here. That completes the process for creating a custom drawing template in Onshape. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you were able to create the drawing template that you were looking for. If you have ideas for Onshape how-to videos, leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful so that you are notified when we release more how-to videos in the future. Have a great rest of your day.